This is Introduction to Java Programming and Data Structures, Programming Exercise 4. And in this exercise, we're going to print a table. We're going to write a program that displays the following table. So we have here a, a squared, a cubed. So a will be the integer, uh, and then a squared will be the integer squared, a cubed will be the integer cubed. Same goal with one, two, three, and four. So right here, two, two to the second power is four, two to the third power is eight. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Well, in Java, there are methods that can square and cube a number for us. But since we haven't learned how to do that yet in this chapter, we'll just write the characters and numbers and print them out on their respective lines. So this is very similar to the previous exercise, and I'm going to actually make this video real quick, uh, just so you could see how this is done. But since we have done this quite a few times, um, this should be more of a practice for you just to review what we've learned so far. All right, so why don't we get straight to it? We're going to jump into our program exercise, go to our package, create our Java class, Give our Java class a name and let's see, I believe it was called uh, print a table. All right, we're going to document uh, our exercise so we can remember it. Uh, when we go back to it, all right, and we're going to write this inside a class. We're going to create a main class, public static void main, click enter and we have our main method and it is pretty simple. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this quite quickly. So we're just going to do a little bit of copying, copying and pasting. So let's see, we're going to grab this and inside a block comment, we're going to paste that. That way, we could visualize, we could see what we were trying to do uh, we were ever to come back to this piece of code or this class. So right here, the easiest way is to use system.out.println. All right. And of course, we're going to just grab this, paste it in there, and we're going to do this four more times. So two, three, oh, this is two, three, four, all right. Grab that, paste that in here. Grab that, paste that. Do that for three, three squared, three cubed, four, four squared, and four cubed. And we're going to organize that with something like this. Now, I actually want to do um, uh, something new actually, since I don't like making a repeat video of the same thing. How about we add one thing new to this? We will add using the slash T escape sequence. All right, so how does this work? First, why don't I run this first and see how that looks like? So when I run that, I see something like this. Now, if you want to do a little bit more evenly spaced, why don't we use a slash T? So that's a, uh, known as an escape sequence. And this slash T, what it does, it, it taps a space out between these two strings. So right now, this right here doesn't look as good. So why don't we put two slash T? Yes, you could do that. You could put as many slash T as you want together. So you run that. There we go. We have that a little bit more spaced out. And I guess we could do that for the rest of this. All right. So there we go. Slash T. And 
then let's run that and let's see how that looks like and voila here we go so if you want to space it out without just clicking a whole bunch of white space right and space it out like that you could use the slash t escape sequence and make it look a little bit nicer a little bit more organized a little bit more properly spaced out so i guess i should have added that to one of my slides but i guess no biggie um uh, explaining here works just fine too all right so that will be what we could catch on this exercise using the slash t escape sequence to nicely organize your little table right here and that will be it for this video